Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I am back with more uh, STEM resources and what I wanted to talk about in this video are comic books, okay? Now, these comic books are from Graphic Library and I have really been impressed with these books. So if you have a reluctant reader or if you have um, a child that's just really into science or if you have a child that's just really into comic books then these books are great um, there are tons of books to choose from I got these off of Amazon they range in price from like $5.99 a book to $7.99 a book I think they can be found at some local libraries as well you know my library phobia so I don't really but but yeah, I think there a lot of libraries have them. If your library does not have them, go ahead and make a request. A lot of libraries are are really sensitive about the needs of their patrons, and so just say yeah, I would like for you guys to you know purchase these and see what happens. But these are good. Like this one is on electricity, and this one is on photosynthesis. Hurricanes, sound, uh, magnetism, bacteria, uh, light, renewable energy, forces of motion. I think I got a few more over there. But uh, the thing that's really neat about these books is that they're not really word heavy. Like this one is on the forces of motion. Um, if you've ever, if you've taken a physics class in high school, you'll know that a lot of times when kids study motion uh, for their end of the year project, they tend to go to an amusement park if there's one nearby, where they learn about, you know, uh, force of gravity and things where they hold a cup of water before, you know, on a big scary um, amusement park ride or big scary roller coaster so that's why this one is like um, setting forces um, that's the setting for forces of motion and he explains the different concepts in a, in a variety of ways talking about it with baseball um, and there's you know little simple experiments that's in the book that kids can try at home and it's just really cool. There's a few things about this series that I really like. The first thing that I really like about it is that you have the same main character in the book. Just like with the Magic School Bus where you have Miss Frizzle or the Frizz as the teacher. This is going to be, um, he's going to be, oh sorry, he's going to be your guide <laughs> throughout the book. So that's really cool. Um, I like that the kids are all, you know, really diverse in the book as well. So everybody can find somebody who... Um, looks like them, appears like them, so it really puts them in the setting. Another thing that I really like about the book is that the learning is not focused in the classroom. I know sometimes um, that can be a little bit annoying. Like, I know my kids, they're fans of the Magic School Bus, and I'll probably do a, you know, a video on the Magic School Bus, but, um, you know, it's at school. So this is cool because not all of um, uh, Max Axiom's uh, adventures are in a school you know he is a just a basic not a basic he is a science superhero um but it's neat because he's in these different environments so it's not so school uh, focused school heavy but i've really enjoyed them reading level i would say that this is probably as, as long as your child can read comfortably at the second or third grade reading level this is going to work for your child some words they're going to have to look up but that's not a bad thing that's a good thing so you know they may not be able to read the word bacteria you're going to help them with that word that's not a big problem but the rest of the book you know most of the words in the book are going to be at that you know comfortable confident second to third grade reading level so especially third grade if, if they're at the third grade reading level you're going to be set but the books are bright they're colorful they're relatively sturdy so they you know you if you have multiple kids you know they're not going to tear easy and different things um there are some that i don't know if i can recommend because i didn't get them uh that is understanding global warming i can't say that whether or not that particular one is going to work for you because 
Um, I didn't get it. It's not something that, even though I have a green child, I don't necessarily, um, I'm not necessarily an advocate of some of the ways in which global warming is discussed. So we just avoided that one. That one, you know, wasn't necessarily for us. But, um, but we did get the one on renewable energy. So I got something for my green child. We just not going to go that particular way. So they're fun. Kids can read them themselves. And they're also fun that for you to read to kids. So if you have kids that aren't strong readers or they're um, not readers yet, or even just if you want to just have some fun, you know, give him a funny voice and stuff. It's really cool. I think this is also a neat book to sit down, have the kids sit down with dad and read these together. And hopefully they'll continue publishing them and, and publish some more um, so that, you know, the sets can get, you know, larger. But it's just really good, solid science um, given to kids in the way that they can understand. Um, love the characters. So if you want a fun way to deal with science, you know, science doesn't always have to be in a book. We don't always have to sit down and be serious in order to learn. So hopefully this is a way for science to, to, to be taken just beyond have to with your kids and get into the want to sort of area. So hope that helps. This is Dr. J and I'm out. Bye-bye.